Hi everyone, uh, this is Kiran Kumar. Today we will discuss about the corn maps. So corn maps, also known as K maps, is a method to simplify the Boolean algebraic expressions. So what we are doing uh, here is we are going to use an alternate method to simplify the Boolean expression instead of the uh, instead of using the postulates and the theorems. So the K maps reduce the need for extensive calculations by taking advantage of human pattern recognition capability. It also permits the rapid identification of and elimination of potential race conditions. So instead of using the Boolean theorems and uh, postulates, what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to use the K maps and we will be getting the solution as soon as possible. So let us proceed uh, how to represent a K map and then how to how to identify the cells and then we will proceed to uh, the rules and regulations and solving of the boolean expressions using the k maps so now here you can see the k map representation of two variables so a k map representation of two variables contains total four cells so these are designed with the gray code so for a the single bit gray code 0 and 1 is given for b again a single bit gray code 0 and 1 is given so how to represent this cells means if you take if you take the first cell this is a 0 and a 0 this represents a, if I want to number this cells this is a 0 and 0 1 represents a 1 and 1 0 represents a 2 and 1 1 represents a 3 this is how we will be giving the decimal numbering for the given K map and if you see the same thing uh, how to number using the binary numbers so 0 for A and 0 for B next A is again a 0 again a 1 so we know that 2 is 1 0 so 1 from here 0 from there that is 1 0 and 1 1 represents a 3 that is 1 1 now if I want to represent the same K map uh, using the product terms or the min terms as we know that in the SOP form the normal variable will be taking the value of uh, 1 and a complemented variable will be taking the value of uh, 0 so the first cell is a bar and b bar second cell is a bar b and third cell what we have here is a b bar and fourth cell is 1 1 means that is a b that is in terms of your product terms nothing but your min terms suppose if i want to represent the same cells in the max terms that is sum of products sum terms or max terms then as my pos form says that the normal variable will be taking the value of a 0 and a complemented variable will be taking the value of 1 so the first term will be a plus b and second term will be second term will be a plus b bar and third term will be a bar plus b and fourth term will be a bar plus b bar so this is how we are going to represent a two variable k map now let us proceed how to represent the remaining things like three variable and four variable k map now giving the numbering in the terms of your decimal numbers the first one is 0 0 1 1 represents a 1 0 1 0 this is 2 again 3 next 1 double 0 means 4 next here it is 5 and 1 1 0 this is 6 and 1 1 1 is 7 now if you use the binary numbers whatever is there on the x-axis and y-axis we are going to write in a particular fashion now first take this one this is 0 next b is 0 this is 0 and third one is again a 0 like that 0 0 0 always represents a 0 next 0 again 0 1 binary 1 this is binary 3 and this is binary 2 and next 1 0 0 next 1 0 1 triple 1 and double 1 0 this is how we are representing in your uh, 3 variable k map now uh, if you talk in terms of your main terms first term will be a bar b bar c bar second term is a bar b bar c third term is a bar b c here it is a bar b c bar and fourth term is a 
B bar C bar and fifth term is this one is A B bar C next one is A B C next one is A B C bar now in terms of your max terms that is A plus B plus C next one is A plus B plus C bar next one is A plus B bar plus C bar this is A bar sorry this is A plus B bar plus C next this is A bar plus B plus C A bar plus B plus C bar next one is A bar plus B bar plus C bar here it is A bar plus B bar plus C this is how we will be representing a three variable K map now proceeding to the four variable K map again I am giving the numbering in terms of your decimal numbers the first one is 0 0 0 0 1 is 1 0 0 1 0 is 2 again here it is 3 next 0 1 1 1 uh, 0 1 double 0 is 4 next one is 5 here it is 6 0 1 1 1 that is 7 and now 8 will not come here why because 1 1 double 0 it is 12 so I want 1 0 double 0 1 0 double 0 means this is 8 1 0 1 1 this is 9 1 0 1 0 this is 10 this is 11 12 13 14 and 15 now here coming to your uh, binary numbers writing from here these two zeros will come here this is from here and from here there's two zeros 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 double 0 0 1 0 1 0 triple 1 0 double 1 0 next uh, double 1 double 0 double 1 0 1 double 1 double 1 next one is double 1 1 0 next one is 1 triple 0 here it is 1 double 0 1 here it is 1 0 double 1 and 1 0 1 0 the same thing if I want to express in terms of your <coughs> in terms first term is a bar b bar c bar d bar next one is a bar b bar c bar d a bar b bar c d next one is a bar b bar c d bar and here it is a bar b c bar d bar here it is a bar b c bar d next one is a bar b c d next one is a bar b c d bar and here it is a b c bar d bar a b c bar d bar sorry c bar d here it is a b c d next one is a b c d bar here it is a b bar c d here it is a b bar c c bar d next one is a b bar c d here it is a b bar c d d bar so now here if you see the max term representation that is a plus b plus c plus d next one is a plus b plus c plus d bar next one is a plus b plus c bar plus d bar and this a plus b plus c bar plus d here it is a plus b bar um, plus c plus d a plus b bar plus c plus d bar and here it is a plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar and here it is a plus b bar plus c bar plus d here a bar plus b bar plus c plus d here it is a, a bar plus b bar plus c plus d bar here it is a plus b plus c plus d <coughs> bars next one here what we have is a 
a bar plus b bar plus c bar plus d and here a bar plus b plus c plus d and here we have a bar plus b plus c plus d bar and here it is a bar plus b plus c bar plus d bar and here it is a bar plus b plus c bar plus d so this is how we are going to represent all uh, the k map like two variable three variable and four variable now uh, whatever the things we have observed here for four variables we are using total 16 cells that is nothing but 2 power 4 this 4 represents your variables and coming to your three variable k map if you see this three variable k map here we are using eight cells that is nothing but 2 power 3 so here three variables so we on the whole if you take the two variable k map also that is 2 power 2 cells which is equals to uh, 4 cells that is 2 is nothing but variables so the number of cells is completely dependent upon the uh, number of variables whatever we are going to use here so the number of variables uh, to the power 2 to the power of number of variables is the number of cells which we are going to use in your k map now as we know how to represent a k map now we will proceed how to <coughs> find out the adjacent cells in a k map now if you see here what are the cells which we are calling them as adjacent cells when two cells are said to be adjacent if they vary by one variable or one bit so i can say that my first cell <coughs> if you take the uh, two variable k map my first cell is 0 0 second cell is 0 1 so my first value is 0 as, as it is 0 changing to 1 so there is a one bit change so these two are adjacent cells again now this cell is 1 1 so 1 is as it is 0 is changing so one bit change these two are adjacent cells again here it is 1 0 1 is as it is 0 change so these two are adjacent and from these two one only one bit change so these two are adjacent means if first and second is adjacent second and third is adjacent and third and fourth is adjacent i can say this four cells are adjacent cells likewise now these two are adjacent these two these two and again these two these two these two and these two and these two not only this one everyone knows that now if you observe 0 0 0 and 0 1 0 these 0 0 0 and 0 1 0 there is only one bit cell one bit chain so i can say that this cell as well as this cell is also adjacent and and what we have is next one that is 1 0 0 one one zero so i can say that these two cells are also adjacent so this and this is also adjacent so i can also say that these two whatever we are saying here the two cells whatever we are saying here the two cells uh, here these two cells and here these two cells i can say these four are adjacent and when these four are adjacent so I can group these four cells. Now, even it happens with this, uh, happens with your uh, four variable k map also. The cells which are adjacent are always only changed by one bit position. One bit position, even everything. Only special cases. What we need to observe is, what we need to observe is like here, as I said, this and 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 this if you observe these values double zero double zero 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 one zero one bit change zero one double zero zero one one zero one bit change one one double zero one 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 zero one bit change here one zero 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 and one zero one zero so these are adjacent so on the whole what i can say is 
these four cells are adjacent to these four cells and similarly we can also say that we can also say that these cells are also adjacent so this is how we are going to find the adjacent cells so two cells are said to be adjacent if they vary only by one variable or one bit so now what i am saying here is either you can use the variables or bits to represent the adjacent cells now let us proceed to the rules and regulations what we are going to use in our solving the uh, boolean expression using your k maps now the first rule what we have is each cell with one must be included in at least one group that means i cannot leave the one alone if there is no possibility that we can leave alone but mandatorily if there is a chance 100 percent we need to group it with other ones try to form the large possible groups that is my first priority suppose if it is a four uh, four variable uh, k map the maximum possibility whatever we are having is 16 cells next eight cells next four and next two so try to end up with as few groups as possible so we need to minimize the number of groups means i know no, i should not repeat the groups but within uh, specified groups or limited groups i need to uh, close my grouping so grouping may be in sizes that are powers of 2 power 0 that is 1 2 power 1 that is 2 and 2 power 2 4 8 and 16 that means i cannot group 3 or 5 blocks or cells i can group only in the powers of 2 that is the first priority is even also given for the maximum grouping so groups may be square rectangle only and it cannot include the diagonal so diagonal is not possible and zigzag is also not possible so the large the larger a group is the more redundant inputs they are for example if i want to group eight cells if i want to group a 16 then four variables are eliminated if i group eight cells then three variables are eliminated if i want to group four cells then two variables are eliminated if i group two cells one variable is eliminated a group of one has no redundancy input so now from this it is very clear that whenever i want to do the grouping i need to look for the maximum grouping and if i want to if i want to group the terms in the order of 2 power 2 that is from 16 8 4 and 2 first priority is given always for the maximum grouping so these are the rules which we are going to follow now let us proceed to solve the problems using your key maps now whenever i want to uh, simplify a boolean expression now uh, the thing is most important thing what we need to keep in our mind is for an expression which is in the sop form that is sop form a standard sop form i need to mark the terms as already i have shown that i need to mark the terms in the kmap using ones why i need to use only binary one means the sop form if i take all the four combinations if i simplify i'll be getting a one and not only that whenever what are the possible inputs if i give to a boolean expression the output will be always one so for an equation or expression of boolean expression if it is in the sop form then i need to mark with binary one in the k map when the expression is in the POS form then i need to mark with the zeros in the given k map now <coughs> let us proceed now f is equals to a comma b is equal is given as a b plus a b bar now a b is nothing but as for my knowledge so s a normal variable is taking a value of one and one this is one zero so i need to keep a one here and next one zero where is one zero one zero is here so now i have first marked the ones now i need to look for the grouping now the maximum possibility grouping is four but it is not possible so i am going to group the next possibility grouping is two so after grouping now observe this one in horizontal direction 
the value of a is not changing that it is a sorry here it is a and b now the answer will be as the answer is a itself why because my b value when it is moving as we have uncircled two horizontal cells the b value is changing yeah, from 0 to 1 which i can say that the b value b variable is eliminated so even i also said that when i group two cells one variable will be eliminated now if i verify cross verify this one using your boolean theorems that is a b plus a b bar so this is very simple like a is taken common now a b plus b bar which is equals to a since we have a plus a bar is equals to 1 this is one of the postulates which we have studied under the boolean algebra now let us proceed to the second question like f of a comma b is equals to a plus b bar plus a bar b bar so now as this, this equation is in the standard POS form now I need to represent the cells with a zeros now let us see this a means a zero this b bar means one a bar again a one and b bar again a one now so I need to mark it zero one and one one sorry zero and here a bar b bar has zero now here there is a possibility of two grouping again now a and b now a value is changing from 0 to 1 when I it is in the vertical direction as we know the terms the first term what we have here is uh, 1 1 uh, 0 1 that is a and a plus b bar and here it is a bar plus b bar now observe here that b bar is common a is changing so 0 is changing to 1 means so my a is eliminated and my b value is constant that is b is equals to 1 that is my answer is b bar itself now let us see the cross verification of this one so according to this one uh, as it is somewhat uh, tough to uh, simplify this one using your uh, POS form now I am proceeding simply with a multiplication or applying distributive law I will be solving this uh, example now a into a bar plus a into b bar plus a bar b bar plus b bar so once after getting this one we know that a into a bar is equals to 0 plus a b bar plus a bar b bar plus b bar now what is that if i take b bar common from all the three that is a plus a bar plus 1 so what we have is b bar into one plus a is a plus one plus a bar so that is equals to b bar into 1 which is equals to b bar what are the answer we are getting using the key maps the same answer we are able to get using your using your boolean algebra <coughs> now let's solve uh, one or two problems in your uh, what we say like k maps uh, three variable k maps that is f of x comma y comma z is equal to sigma small m of 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 6 now this is an standard sop form expression as how to identify means if the sigma small m is means sigma is represents the sum terms and small m represents the min terms now i am going to plot 0 next 1 2 and here 3 will come but 3 is not the 4 5 6 and 7 so i am going to plot them now let us see what is the possibility of grouping now the maximum possibility grouping whatever i have here is 8 but we don't have all the ones in your 8 cells so next possibility what i whatever i have here is 4 cells so here the 4 cells possibility is available these two are adjacent again these two are adjacent so total i have 4 cells which are adjacent to one another so my term which we have here is like x y z now the x is changing from 0 to 1 so x is eliminated 
Now the first values whatever you are having here these are y values and second values whatever you are having here are z values. Now I need to look only the first term 0 0 and the last term 1 0 that means y z. So y is changing so y is eliminated and I have a z so my answer is z bar why because z value is 0. Now next grouping whatever it is possible is I have one more one but uh, uh, there is I cannot leave this one alone is it right there is a chance of grouping this one with this first one so I am grouping this one I have what is that x bar from x axis and uh, y bar so my answer whatever I have for this equation is f of x comma y comma z is equals to x bar y bar plus z bar even if I verify using the boolean algebra I will be getting the same answer here so ne <coughs> next let us see let us see the three variable came up simply I have given only three terms here now <coughs> that is 3 that is x y and z where 3 is 0 1 2 3 so I need to mark a 0 4 and 5 again I need to mark a 0 and 7 I need to mark a 0 here there is a possibility of grouping two cells and here again a two cells so now my first one whatever I have is x value is 1 in the previous form x value is 1 means that is x bar plus this y value is changing but z value is remains constant so it is z bar now observe this one x value is changing so x is eliminated and here it is y bar plus z bar so my output function is f of x comma y comma z is equals to x bar plus z bar into y bar plus z bar a four variable came up very simple as uh, whatever we have followed uh, the steps whatever we have followed for my uh, three and the two variable came up we will be using the same thing again it is a standard SPP form equation now marking once that is one in the zero place that is one next three where the three is zero one two three four five six eight nine 10, 12 and 15. Now if you observe this terms it is very interesting. There is no possibility of grouping the one with the other one. There is no possibility of grouping the one with the other one. So is there any possibility? No. So when there is no possibility not uh, we cannot uh, not simplify. The Boolean expression. expression. <coughs> so this is very rarely happens. So there is no chance of grouping the terms. So it is very interesting problem. Next, if I see the terms here for your POS form. Now the first one what we have is A B. CD. Uh, <coughs> now I need to identify as it is the max terms. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, next 12, 13 and 14. Again same problem. So there is no possibility. possibility of solving now if if I want to solve this problem let us see I'll take one more problem which we can use for uh, solving so I'm taking a, a small problem here I'm taking a small problem here
that is f of a comma b comma c comma d is equals to sigma small m of 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 7 8 11 and 15 this is one problem which we can solve as in my previous cases i was not able to solve the problems so here what i do is now i am taking a k map i am drawing a k map here Right now in zero, I'm marking zero. Next one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and fifteen, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this problem, if you see here, now just group these four. When I group these four, these two variables are changing from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. They are eliminated and I am left over with A bar, B bar. And if I group these four cells, now A and B are eliminated. I am left over with C, D. And now I have this one which I can group with this. So, so I can write it as what I can write means A is changing, B is not changing, so that is B bar, uh, C bar, and D bar. So my output is f of A comma B comma C comma D is equals to A bar B bar plus B bar C bar D bar plus C D. Now, if we see one more problem, let us see one more problem. F of a comma b comma c comma d is equals to pi capital m of 0 1 2 5 7 12 